year, a new Street Fighter. And even though I did get this key for free, this will not stop me from being open and honest with my review. Yeah. I do want to say I am reviewing this game from a casual standpoint. Now, even though I've played a lot of Street Fighter 3 and a bunch of Street Fighter 4 and did actually place fifth in a tournament of 20 people in Street Fighter 5, this will still be focused on the casual experience because I feel like everyone that already reviewed the game have reviewed it from a high skill standpoint and nobody ever thinks about the little guys. If you guys are looking for a super detailed review of the gameplay frame by frame, combo by combo, this is not the video for you. I'm pretty sure Justin Wong or Rufo Monger have made detailed videos about the gameplay and I believe they could explain the game in a lot more detail than I personally can. So first things first, Street Fighter VI is introducing this single player mode that is more of an explore around the city and do collectibles and mini games and stuff like that. Now that wasn't in the beta, but you still get to walk around as your customized character, equip different clothing, and pretty much just dress up how you want to. It's absolutely nuts and I've seen some crazy characters just in the beta alone, so I'm really excited to see what the full open world game will be. Another thing that I found which was kind of strange, maybe a little alarming, was the actual purchasing of these equipments. So you can use Street Fighter coins, which I'm going to assume are the premium currency, and the ticket system. Now, the, the reason why I think the coins are the real life purchase is because it costs so little to buy the same thing. And it costs hundreds, if not thousands of tickets to buy the same item. So when it comes down to actually getting tickets, since I was given the beta key, I was given what, I think 15,000 tickets, which I thought was a crazy amount until you look into the store and you're like, oh yeah, I mean, it's a good amount. Now, when it comes to how quickly you can get these tickets, honestly, I don't know. They did implement like a daily and a weekly function to unlock tickets, but throughout my hours of playing the game, I don't think I really unlocked that many, but I also wasn't paying that much of attention to it. Since we're talking about the customizable character, it is a bit disappointing that we actually don't get to pick them in the beta. It's very strange, so I honestly don't know how it's gonna work. It looks like in the story mode, you meet different masters, and you can look in the menu and there's some that says master. So I'm sure you can learn moves from different characters like a Dragon Ball Z, Xenoverse, RPG element. You learn a Shoryuken from Ken, and then you equip it, and then maybe you can use it in your combo list and maybe you can switch it out. Uh, the combo list is very detailed on the characters themselves and it looks like you can uh, possibly mix those different types of unique moves. Like Ken, for example, has the ability to do a dash and after that dash, he can do a variety of different kicks. And Chun-Li has a stance where she actually gets on the ground and she can do different types of low kicks. So I'm pretty sure just looking through the menu and looking at the game at itself, I'm pretty sure your customizable character will be able to equip that. And from there, you can basically not just special move, but actually change how your character fights. If you play Tekken Tag or Tekken 6 or Tekken Tag Tournament 2, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be very similar to Combat. Combat was able to equip different moves, not just special moves, but moves in general. And you basically can create the best character in the game if you know what moves are the best for each situation. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same way in Street Fighter, but throughout this beta, there's honestly no way for me to tell. Before I can go over the new characters, I have to say this. There are some strange buttons in this game. So if you look in the menu and you look at your button combination, you see one that says classic and you have one that says modern. Now, modern 100% threw me off. And as soon as you load into the game, I was playing on modern settings and I was confused. I didn't know what buttons did what and since this beta doesn't let you really practice or train or go through an arcade so you can actually figure out what these buttons do, uh, it, it was basically uh, hard for me to figure it out and I gave up. Classic was for me. 
super modern. I don't know. Like, I'm going to assume it's to make the game easier for new players. But I couldn't tell you what to do and try and help you because the modern controls are just way too difficult for me personally. So I would say just stick with classic and just learn how to play Street Fighter because who knows in Street Fighter 7 they might get rid of the modern or they might change it to be different controls for modern so you have to relearn it anyway when classic has just been the same type of moveset for the last what 30 years so yeah just stick the classic but anyways the new characters so there's three new characters and we're gonna go by from my least favorite to my favorite and least favorite starting with Luke now, Luke was introduced in Street Fighter V, but I stopped playing Street Fighter V way before Luke came out. So Luke is new to me. And honestly, Luke feels like an easy version of Reed. Luke feels honestly like another Shoto. You know, he has a projectile, he has an uppercut, but he does have some cool grabs and I just love his aesthetic more than anything. The whole rough and tough MMA US fighter. I'm digging it. But when it comes down to his combo gain, it's personally not for me. His supers are really cool. Honestly, they're really brutal and they look like they do a lot of damage. And I really love that about him. But besides that, I honestly just can't get into Luke personally. Now, if you're brand new to the game, I honestly think maybe Luke would be for you. But for me, he's just too slow. Now, Kimberly has this whole crazy hip hop aesthetic but her moveset is reminiscent of Guy from Street Fighter 4. Now, I personally didn't like using Guy. He is a pretty difficult character for me personally. And for some reason, when I was playing as Kimberly, I was like, yeah, this is Guy. But at the same time, she is a little bit just more fun. She's more energetic. She has this whole hip hop attire and she uses her music to dance around. And it's really enjoyable. I just love using Kimberly for fun. But she is going to take a lot of skill like she's not a pick up and play like luke she is pretty difficult and it makes me want to get better with her just because how cool she is how great of a character she is also for some reason she is crazy thick like like my jaw dropped when i saw her walk animation i was like there is no way that this like they made a character thicker than chun li i i didn't think that was possible but here it is kimberly i don't i actually i don't even know how it's like bruh Look how big that thing, like how? I don't know. But moving on, Jamie. Now, Jamie, honestly, I wasn't expecting much from him, but the more that I used him in training and then I went to do some matches with him, I realized like this is my new main character. His fighting style is very reminiscent of Yun and Yang if you guys played Street Fighter Alpha, uh, Third Strike, or Street Fighter 4, um, Ultra Street Fighter 4. You know, they were introduced as DLC and Super. But the Baji Quan, slash hip hop type of combat. It's just really awesome. And on top of that, he has a system where the more he drinks, the stronger he gets if you get up to four, what, four sips, I guess, like four chugs, four chugs of the alcohol, which has like, a, it basically turns it into a mini game. If you're playing against somebody that has projectile, can you really space them out after a combo to try and take a sip? You know, as soon as you take four sips, you get into a Nakali boosted state. And I honestly think that this state is crazy strong. Like this guy is extending his combos and doing more damage. And there's no downside that I can see really besides if you do a dash, you stumble forward. So it does, it is, it, it is a little bit more difficult to get in, but as soon as you do, like all hell breaks loose whenever you play as Jamie. It is crazy. I saw two Master Jamie players and my jaw dropped to see how long of a combo that they could do. Like 19 hit combo, like it was nothing. <laughs> like it was so cool just learning this character. I really personally just love using Jamie. And out of the difficulty, I'd say he's honestly moderate to difficult. Like, I think Kimberly might be a little bit more difficult just because of her buttons for me personally, but it definitely would go Kimberly, Jamie, and then Luke when it comes to difficulty. Luke being the easiest, Kimberly being the hardest, but Jamie is honestly not that far behind when it comes to difficulty compared to Kimberly. Now, 
the beta itself when it comes down to the lobby system the lobby is pretty meh the only way you can really play with people is if you go to an arcade that has somebody on it or you're on an arcade and then somebody comes and then you guys play against each other the issue i have with the system is this is the same way you can play training mode in here training trying to figure out these moves and not figure out combos but figure out the moves in general because i don't know these characters all of a sudden here comes a new challenger oh great now i have to fight instead of practice which is a terrible thing and another thing that i didn't like about the arcade system after you win or lose a match all you have is rematch and leave you cannot change your character after you lose why not i don't understand you we're sitting at arcade cabinets this is not a lobby system so that means to change characters which i had to do several times it's like okay i lost they're doing this type of strategy maybe if i counter pick with this character i have a better chance to win the point is i had to get up press square go over the character change my character go back and sit back down and then reactivate the rematch instead of after you lose character select i have no idea why they didn't put that in there but capcom you guys definitely should when you release the full game add the ability to change characters if you're gonna have us running around in this lobby area you're gonna need a way to make it more streamlined so people don't get just annoyed with doing anything. Like if I wanna customize, yeah, they have a fast travel system, but you have to press a couple of buttons to get into the fast travel to go there. It's just not convenient at all. It's pretty messy and it'd be better if it was on a menu, personally speaking. Overall, gonna have to give Street Fighter VI Beta a seven out of 10. The reason why it's not an eight out of 10 is because you don't get the experiment with your customized character, which is gonna be the main focus of the story mode. Your main focus is me playing as my character. Why wouldn't you give me the ability to actually play as that character? I can customize the clothes, sure. And I can customize the emotes and how tall they are, but I can't actually fight as them in the beta. And the main selling point to a casual audience is going to be the story mode. All the pros, all the people that want to be esports, they're going to buy the game regardless. I'm definitely excited to play the story mode because personally, that's what I want to play. I want to play Street Fighter VI for the story mode, the customization, to see the open world, to see what they do different besides the fighting. The gameplay is amazing. Don't get me wrong. The gameplay was really fun. There was a couple of cheese mechanics in there. You can get past the cheese if you know how. And that just comes down to training, practice, and, you know, learning in, with time. Again, thank you Capcom for the beta key. I really did enjoy the game. And until next time, I will see you guys when I see you guys. It's your boy Miss. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys. Peace out.